Hello and welcome to Airstream. My name is Justin Humphreys. I'm Vice President of Sales here and we are in our new training center, uh, state of the art, just moved in last year. And today I'm gonna cover uh, the key features of an Airstream Atlas, our largest motorhome that we build to date. Uh, what's different about the Atlas versus our interstate products is we build the box behind the cab. This is what we call a class C chassis, otherwise known in the industry as a cutaway chassis. So when Mercedes sends us this chassis, uh, this cockpit is intact, similar to the interstate, and then you'll just have rails on the back and it's up to Airstream then to build that box behind it. So what does that mean to you? Um, it means a couple things. Uh, the biggest being, this is a wider body in the back. So where on the interstate, it's the entire Mercedes body from front to back, we push this out a bit so you're, you have a lot more living space on the interior of the motorhome. One thing we've really been intentional about is to keep that interstate Mercedes look. So as you look at the graphics, they're very subdued and they really mimic the window lines of an Airstream Interstate. When we came out with our version of a Class C, this is technically considered a Class C product, although we refer to it affectionately in industry as a B plus, because an Interstate is a B and this is just a little wider, so it's the B plus. Um, but even though that we, we were building this more of the box, we really want, wanted people to look at that and say, That's a, that looks like an Interstate. So we're very intentional on the design uh, with this Atlas. And you'll notice it here on the body lines. You know, you, we have luggage doors and steps here, but we really want those hidden away so that our customers don't have to look at that. Um, I'm gonna start at the entry door here, but then we're gonna work around the entire outside. And this is one of my favorite features and something I haven't seen other manufacturers be able to pull off. But you'll notice um, everything looks integrated at the body moldings, but as soon as you open the door, as the steps reveal themselves, um, then you can enter and exit the coach. But when you're not having to get in the coach, you don't wanna sit there and look at steps. And uh, most manufacturers, when the steps go in, you can still see those steps and it takes away from the exterior beauty of the coach. So love what our designers did here. Uh, it's very clever. And uh, as it reveals itself, uh, it's very sturdy too. It's fantastic steps. So in the front, you know, this is a Mercedes-Benz. You'll see the star here on the front and Mercedes-Benz offers a lot of options. Now, they offer a different level of options, whether it's the B van, the panel van that our interstate uses versus the cutaway. There are some differences there. Uh, there's a lot of similarities, but there are some differences. For example, on a cutaway, you cannot get a four x four option when they offer that chassis. On the interstate, you can. So there's some nuance there, but a lot of the features um, are still the same and something I'd like uh, to point out to you today. So uh, first off, right away, the uh, windshield is a heated windshield, just like the interstate. Um, heated seats and heated steering wheel. It's something that we select for Mercedes Benz. It's a real comfort feature and it's a safety feature. So if you have ice or if you have fog on the windshield, you hit that um, windshield heater, it'll take it right off. Or if you got a bad lower back like myself, you want some heat, it's great to, to loosen up your back. Or if it's just cold, it'll warm you up as well. As you look at the front too, we've done some things differently on the front than other manufacturers have done. When we get this from Benz, the body line ends right here. We've added this tool piece up front to give it a little more um, styling cues. Uh, we've integrated the Airstream branding in there. We have Airstream branding on this, but it's very subdued, um, understated, and I think that's a fantastic detail uh, that we have there. Um, if you are gonna be cleaning some of the cap and trying to brush, there is a bit of a step area here that you can jump uh, up on and, and access some hard to reach areas. LED lights are an option with the cutaway, we select them. And you know, because Sprinter has so many options, they don't know if you're gonna be making this a box delivery truck or an RV. So the list of options is still really significant. We select all the options that we can get uh, here at Airstream and the, uh, the LED uh, lights are one of them. Not only is it a better styling headlight, but it really is a safety feature as you're driving down country roads and you're trying to avoid hitting deer or pedestrians in, in an urban area. Uh, fantastic lighting. 
You'll also notice there's a little black box in the middle of the windshield up here. And really what that is for is it is actually doing some lane assist. So it's watching you drive down the highway. If you're starting to drift, it's gonna uh, notify you. And we'll also have some collision assist and uh, adaptive cruise control technology to help uh, avoid collisions and to keep you separated from the vehicle in front of you. Uh, moving to the, uh, to the back, one thing that we do differently at Airstream is we update the um, Mercedes wheels to an Alcoa Durabrite wheel. What the Durabrite means is there's a coating here that keeps it uh, very easy to clean. Sometimes aluminum wheels can be tough to keep polished. This is gonna be really um, helpful when you're maintaining uh, the polish on the wheel. But lighter weight and uh, higher performing wheel, uh, we, we really, really like that um, feature. And then another thing, as you imagine, this is a little wider behind you. So when you're changing lanes, you have a little bit of the wall coming into view, but we've thought that through. So on the Atlas, integrated into the side view mirror here is a camera. So as you hit your blinker to change lanes, the monitor inside the uh, cockpit here will share with you the image of the entire um, side that you're turning into. So you make sure you're not turning into anybody and it's a great feature. It's something that Airstream um, has added. Uh, one interesting uh, piece of information is where the fuel fill is. It's right here. So it's right next to the driver's door. You notice I can't open it with the door closed. You have to open the door to open it. And then you can fill it up with, this is diesel engine, of course, with the Mercedes Benz, uh, three liter, six cylinder, gets fantastic fuel economy. And um, this is a great place to fill it because as you enter a gas station where you're driving, where you're sitting, just park it next to the uh, fuel fill and you know you're in alignment and the hose will reach. So one area I wanted to point out here too is the transition from the chassis to the body. On most RVs, you will see a molding here. It's hiding where the two, where the cap and the sidewall come together. It covers that seam. You'll notice here that we actually do a very automotive finish. We glass all of that in, and then we paint this entire box. Now, it's an unbelievable process, but we use 15 coats of BASF automotive finish paint. Three of those coats are a super clear coat on top of it. But as we paint, um, and this, is, this black element uh, feature here is also painted, you can't fill any ridge lines. Uh, they go in, it's called, we call it cut and buff in the industry, but essentially you're cutting any of the lines out and you're buffing and sanding this entire paint. Uh, but 15 layers of paint. I'm not sure any manufacturers coming close to that in the RV industry, but it's something that we take a lot of pride in. And you'll notice there's no seams on the roof either. So we really glass all of those in as we go around the back, you won't see any seams there either. So this is a real element. I would, as you're looking at other manufacturers and what they offer, really look at these connection points. And if you have that seam, that is one more place for water intrusion to come in. And it's a bit of an eyesore too, as you have that added molding um, right there. Now, uh, moving into what really makes the Atlas unique is because now we're building the box, we can build a slide out. On this side is where the slide out comes out. So we're gonna go ahead and open that now and you can see it in action. So Airstream does build a model with a slide out. We get that question a lot on our travel trailers and other motorhomes that the Atlas is our one slide out version. There is actually a manual override if for whatever reason um, this slide out would to malfunction. So it's a great system. Now what we're hearing, there's some noise in the background. This is actually really good. That is, um, we have an air suspension system on the rear wheels. That's something we provide uh, as standard equipment on this chassis. When you have a big box in the back, um, you really want that added suspension. So why, why was that noise on? Because this slide out came out, it added some weight on the side. Those airbags are self-adjusting. So that airbag just filled up. That was a great demonstration and, and something I'm glad you were able to see. But one thing I really like about this slide out, other than the added room you'll see that it gives us on the interior, is look at the storage boxes and how it comes out with the slide out. So imagine yourself camping and you wanna access this storage. Instead of climbing under the slide out like a lot of RV manufacturers are gonna require you to do, for anything like me, you got a bum knee, 
Uh, I don't have to climb under that slide out to open the luggage door. I just reach down and open it right up. Fantastic operation, love the systems and, and what our designers did to make it more accessible and uh, definitely wanted to point that out. Now, as we get to the back here, this is where your utility compartment is going to be. Um, and we, we've been able to hide all of that into one compartment and it's right down here. Now, as you get down here, uh, you'll notice a few things, but um, you have your 30 amp connection. It comes up through the coach, so you don't have your plug going into the sidewall. It really tidies it up when you're camping and keeps it out of the way. Also, uh, you have an exterior shower. So let's say you're out at the beach or you have a pet that you wanna wash and you don't wanna take them inside. Uh, you can do all that out here as well. There is a macerator pump for dumping. So this is never the fun part of RVing, but there is a black tank, it's connected to the toilet, and those contents have to be dumped. Where a lot of manufacturers will use a gravity fed system. So you have a pipe sticking out the bottom of your RV and you'll have a tube that you have to kind of work the contents, which is not a fun job. They make movies about this stuff of getting um, those contents into um, a, a dump station. What we have here is we have a power macerator that comes right out and what this does look at the size of the tube it's easy to operate and it's uh, the best way I can explain it it is like a, uh, a garbage disposal that is chopping down those contents and then a pump that pushes it out so you could actually if you if the dump station was up a hill and you couldn't do the gravity fed no problem on the Airstream Atlas you just put that turn on the pump and it pumps it, those contents right out and then there's an auto retracting mechanism that will bring it uh, uh, right in. So super easy to use and something that uh, not a lot of people spend that money. It's very expensive. Um, now, one difference between the interstate is we do have parking sensors, but on the Atlas, they're just in the back and you can see them here. It's something we've had to add. Everything you see back here is a tooled fiberglass part. So we've actually taken the time and the expense to make sure we've tooled in these sensors, which is great because if you're backing into a campground, um, you have those sensors. They're not on the front on the Atlas, the interstate, uh, you do have them, but you do have them on the back, which is really the area um, that you're probably most concerned over. Uh, you do have a rear vision camera and we put that rear vision camera on a monitor where the rear view mirror would go, so it's very natural. You can keep it on all the time, or you can just turn it on when you're backing it up. You have a few settings there that you can use, but it really gives you a great view of what's behind you. We've uh, we got a hitch on the Airstream Atlas, but if you're not using the hitch, you don't want to look at the hitch. We've actually um, invested in the money to tool up a cover, a fiberglass cover that's going to hide that hitch. But if you do need the hitch, um, you can easily access it, just a couple tabs that pull off and you can get that out. Obviously, we're really highlighting the fact that this is a Mercedes-Benz. We've actually integrated their branding and their logo into our rear cap. I think it comes uh, uh, off really well. Our designers did a great job of making this really look like a Mercedes-styled um, product and uh, something that we're proud of, of the product we're using with them. And then, of course, the Airstream logo back here as well. And then as I had mentioned before, you know, there are no seams back here. If you look here, you just don't have the moldings. Everything is fiberglassed over. You just don't have those added ug uglies is what I call them on the side of the coach. And it really is a, a, a nice feature there. So uh, we do have storage in the sidewall. There's a closet in the back of the coach that a that'd be very difficult to access from the interior. So we give you access from the exterior and it actually goes up quite a bit. So you can put some, some great um, things in there. It's great storage. And then we continue down the coach. Now, one thing I love about these luggage doors, notice there's no handles. Isn't that clean? You know, on a lot of RVs, you see these great big black handles going down and, uh, and that's fine, but they're exposed to the elements. What we've done here, what our designers have done is we've integrated the entire luggage uh, door system into the key fob for Mercedes-Benz. So when it's closed like this, if you hit the lock 
a couple times on your Mercedes key fob, it'll lock all the luggage doors. And then you can also unlock it. And then it's got a catching mechanism. So when it's unlocked, all you gotta do is just pull it right up. So we do have some um, other areas of storage here. And this one is actually the generator. Now what's unique about the Airstream Atlas versus the interstate. On the interstate, it's the B-Van, which means they build the entire structure. So we're very limited on space for the generator. Because we can build this box and be wider, we can use a different generator. So on the interstate, it's an LP Onan generator. On the Atlas, it's a diesel generator. So it's larger, but you also pull a fuel off your fuel tank. So you're not using your LP, which is really nice because then you just have a single fuel source for both the engine and the generator. Really nice feature and produced by um, Onan. Now, we've also got some hookups in here, some USB charging ports. Um, we also have cable. So if you're tailgating, this really makes a great area for you. You've got all of those connections. There's a quick connect on an LP detector if you're grilling out. Uh, we do sell Weber grills with a low pressure valve that can connect to that on our um, Airstream Supply Company. Make sure you check that out. Lots of things to buy for your Airstream Atlas. Our, uh, our awning, this is gonna be your campsite side or your tailgating side. There's a few features I like to point out about this awning. Uh, first, notice how many awning arms there at, we have. There's three, if you can't see. A lot of manufacturers, they might just have two. That's where a, an easy place that they can save some money. Uh, we don't like to save that money. These awnings are expensive, and if you do have one, we really want them to be sturdy. Uh, the second thing, there's a little black box at the end. That's a seismic sensor. So what that's doing is it's measuring the yaw of the awning uh, if, wind, if wind hits, and if it gets too rough, it'll actually bring the awning in to save you some time and money. And then, uh, you know, lastly, another good reason to have that seismic sensor is if you do get distracted or pulled away from the coach and something pops up weather, wise, it'll bring it in for you. Um, also, there's a LED strip in the awning, which is a fantastic way to light your campsite. It's kind of this um, indirect lighting at night that'll come down on top of you. And that's um, uh, also helped with undercarriage lighting underneath. So a lot of times you're out camping and you've got this RV with this massive light in the sidewall, it's kind of blasting uh, yourself and the neighbors. With the Airstream Atlas, it's a very comfortable uh, lighting setup that's uh, understated and really allows for a great uh, time in the evening of the coach. So uh, that is the exterior of the Airstream Atlas. I can't wait to show you on the interior. It's really where the Atlas shines. It's very unique in the industry, super high end. Uh, let's go in and take a look. Okay, let's take a look inside this Airstream Atlas. And we're gonna start in the driver's area here in the cockpit. And uh, there's a lot to talk about. Some really, really good features. And you just take a look at it. It really does feel like you're in an S-Class. It's got the, uh, their infotainment center. They're using their automobiles. The steering wheel is leather wrapped. It's got a great feel to it. Um, it's just outstanding. Now, many of these features are options from Mercedes-Benz. And you really need to watch, if you're shopping in this category, what options the RV manufacturer is selecting. As I mentioned, we, we like to select all of the options. Um, take, for uh, instance, this screen. This is a little larger screen. The standard screen is much smaller. We like to have a bigger screen. But then even on the, on the steering wheel, look at all of these controls on the steering wheel. It's, this, this is option, and, uh, and we select it. Really good stuff. I'm gonna turn it in the auxiliary area here, and I'm gonna also show you some other features that this offers. So you're driving this Atlas. It's a little bigger than any vehicle you've ever driven. You might be a little intimidated. Please don't. This is, we, we've got so many safety features, and I'll explain why I think you'll be very comfortable behind the wheel. First off, we don't want you to take your hands off the wheel, neither does Mercedes-Benz. So having those controls at your fingertips is really helpful. But now this infotainment center is smart. So you can actually do voice activation commands to um, the system to get things changed. So for example, all you have to do is call her name and she'll answer. So let me, uh, let me show you how that works. Mercedes, 
How may I help you? Navigation, please. Goes right to navigation. How cool is that? Then you can voice, um, by voice, you can put in addresses, points of interest, and some other things that uh, you would need to do for navigation. Um, and then if you want to go back to the radio, you just say, Mercedes. Mercedes. How may I help you? Radio, please. And then you're back to the radio. So super easy to use, keeps those hands on the wheel and something um, that hopefully gives you confidence that you can handle a vehicle like this. A uh, few other things to consider for the safety and convenience of driving this vehicle. I mentioned um, outside that when you're shifting lanes and you hit the blinker, it's gonna show the camera down that side so you make sure the lane is clear when you're changing lanes. Well, that is gonna pop up here in this monitor right up here. This is a very natural place to look and you're gonna be able to see down that entire side. Uh, what this monitor also does is that second camera in the back that we pointed out, you can always keep it on. So just like when you're driving a car, it's very natural to look there. And, and I'm looking, my eyes are, are looking down the road. It's very easy then to come right here and, and see what's going on behind me. What a lot of our uh, competitive manufacturers is they just use what's in the infotainment center. So you're having to look at a camera down here, which means you're taking your eyes off the road. And that can be a little um, getting used to. It takes a little getting used to. And I think this is a much safer and um, an easier way to operate the vehicle. So I really, really like that. And it's also got one-way audio. So when you're backing up at a campground, your partner, friend, or neighbor at the campground is helping you back up, you can hear their directions um, over it as well. So that's, that's a fantastic option. And as we talk about safety items, a big one, and it's, it's an expensive option, and it is an option, um, are side curtain airbags here on the side. Now, Mercedes will come standard with the in-dash airbags. Every Mercedes Sprinter is gonna have that, but it's an option to put them on the side airbags. It costs a little bit more money because a lot of them are integrated into the seat, so you have to make sure the stitching's proper around there. So it adds some cost and complexity but the reality is any side impact that you may experience, you're protected in an Airstream Atlas. A lot of our competitors uh, do not offer that. So that's something you're really gonna wanna watch and look for. Um, I think it's a great option to have and a wonderful safety feature. One other feature I'd like to point out is, you know, with this cutaway chassis, we're a little wider in the back, like I mentioned on the outsides, and we're a little taller than what the interstate is here on this Atlas. And what's nice is we have an air suspension um, package that we put standard on every Atlas. So if you if you kind of imagine yourself driving down the road and you're catching some, some uh, crosswinds, that is going to provide a little bit of back and forth on the box portion behind us. That air suspension self-adjusting and really makes for a more comfortable ride. Um, another just not only comfort, but a bit of a safety feature as well to keep that coach level and give you confidence to drive it. So... Um, and it is actually has a manual setting. So if you get into some campgrounds with a sharp departure angle, you can actually uh, manipulate that at slower speeds to try to help you get in and out to ensure you're not dragging the bottom or, or, or something else. So great feature. The controls are here behind my um, seat and it's easy to operate. If you don't want to manually uh, manipulate it, that's fine. Put it in drive and it'll do all the work for you. Just like your uh, Mercedes car, there's power seats heated seats. There's actually memory settings here in the Atlas. So if you and your partner both drive, set it to the way you like it, press the memory button. Every time you come back, it's real easy. You just press the button. That's an option. You know, a lot of commercial applications, it's a manual adjustment. You know, it's the same person driving it every day. They don't need those memory settings. We like to select it. It's, a, it's certainly a convenience um, item for us. Also, as you go throughout the dash of the um, Airstream Atlas, Mercedes has done a great job over the years of adding cup holders. Uh, in the interior, both the passenger and the driver have two cup holders they can utilize. There's actually two cup holders on each side in the dash. And there's a big large one down in the door that can hold water bottles. Why is that important? Well, you need your drinks. And if you go on a long road trip, you might have a couple of them. But then you can also place snacks in there, cell phones. There's a lot of uses for those cubbies. You'll notice here in the front, it's actually a, kind of a commercial grade uh, flooring that's easy to clean. 
Um, and that's nice. But what Airstream also provides is a custom floor mat that's carpet that fits in that area and really dresses it up a bit, gives it more of a luxury look um, that's, that's helpful. Another thing that we offer aftermarket that you can get through your dealer is you can add a single bed up front here. It's an inflatable bed that works around all the crevices. So if you have a smaller person or a child, you need that extra space for sleeping, um, you, can, you can get that. There's more information on airstream.com where you can see what that picture looks like, but it's, it's pretty slick and utilizes what would otherwise be some dead space. So with that, I think we've covered most of the items up front here. Let's get to the house portion and share all the features that Atlas offers you. Okay, so we're gonna start making our way into the living room area. And uh, before I do, you'll notice that this seat has swiveled uh, back towards um, the rear of the coach. This becomes a great seat when you're camping, uh, which is a great flexible use of the seating. The passenger seat will also swivel around. So if you're entertaining guests or you just wanna uh, sit in this uh, captain's chair as opposed to the sofa, you've got that ability to do so. And a couple things here to, uh, to point out. Number one, just the softness of the ultra leather material we're using on the Atlas. It's, a, it's called an ultra leather. It's a man-made material, so it doesn't need to be maintained like natural leather. It's really good against stains. Um, you spill something and clean it up, it'll, it'll clean right up. And although it's got a real soft touch, it's really durable. So pets, um, keys, you know, it really doesn't puncture very easily at all. So it's really the best of uh, both worlds. You're gonna start to see this a lot more on uh, high-end yachts and vehicles, just because it's so soft yet it's so uh, durable. The other piece is the flooring. I mentioned this um, in some other videos on our Interstate 24 GT and GL, and it's the same thing in the Atlas. This is a woven vinyl floor. Over the years, we've removed carpet and have gone to vinyl flooring. It's easier to clean. You don't get the wear and tear that carpet offers. But some of that vinyl becomes very flat. This provides a lot of depth in it, kind of gives the benefit of the design, but um, without compromising the, uh, the function. So this is a great material. We actually found this material in the hotting industry, so it can really handle uh, getting wet, uh, getting sandy, it's easy to clean, and we jumped all over it. Now it is considerably more expensive than your standard vinyl floor, I think a factor of about three times. But uh, we really want the best uh, for the Atlas and Airstream in general. And then also keep in mind as we start heading back to the living portions we start to disconnect from the vehicle portions. And as such, we have a radio dedicated for the living space. It's up here, still in the driver's cockpit area. Um, but so, so, so a lot of people ask me, hey, you got two radios. Well, one is when you drive, the other one is when you're parked. If you think about trying to turn on your chassis every time just to listen to music, that doesn't make a lot of sense. So we give you a house dedicated stereo, um, which I think is fantastic. Um, so, all right, so I'm gonna stand up and then I'm also gonna kind of cover the controls. Uh, we have a full multiplex system, which is typically found in big expensive class A's. And we offer that in the Airstream Atlas. Um, you have a screen that will function as a monitor for many of the appliances and sensors on board. So on the home screen, you will have uh, your, your lights, which you can turn them all off or on, you can dim the lights from here. You can um, extend the awning. I did that earlier on the outside. That's how I did it. Temperature control, so the thermostat controls HVAC, both the air conditioner and the furnace. All of your tanks, are they full? Are they empty? Um, you can turn on your tank heater if it's cold outside. You can also turn on your water pump if you're off the grid. Um, and then a generator. It's on board. It's got a, what we call an auto gen start. And what that means is, is you can set it up so it'll automatically start when it gets to a certain voltage on the battery, or you can have it automatically start when it gets a certain temperature in the coach. Uh, so if you have pets in the, in the unit or in the motor home, that they're protected if you're in warm weather. Um, then you can get into more details. So these are specifically the lights that you can turn on. Um, this is specifically the settings that you can have with, uh, with the auto gen start. You've also got the thermostat, which you can then either do air conditioning or just the fan or the furnace. It's all power shades everywhere you go. Every window you have in here is a power shade. Um, we also have a secondary screen over here because this, in addition to the seating, is your bed. So at night, instead of having to get up to go to this screen, 
you can roll over and check this out. So this is a really wonderful area. And there's a couple things here that I wanna point out. Number one, it's a very comfortable sofa. And it's actually, um, this sofa is also powered. So it's got a power recliner. So if you have a, a busy day and you wanna relax and, and get uh, comfortable, you can do so with this um, sofa. Okay, so you have this comfortable sofa, but on the other side is a, uh, is a little bit of a surprise. This is a countertop here, but with a quick touch of a button, it reveals a TV. What I particularly like about this system is the Bose speaker. You know, in a small area like this, in a very targeted seating position, it just sounds fantastic. So it's a really good place for uh, watching movies. So uh, fantastic, 40 inch TV, um, high definition, it comes standard on the Airstream Atlas. And then above the TV, we have great storage. And um, you know, just that typical Airstream extruded aluminum bottom, it's almost like a private jet. Look at the two metal um, um, brackets on each side for the hinges. Um, it's gonna last a long time. Italian light ply, it's light, but it's durable. Just a uh, great option here. And then can't forget the, the aluminum uh, ceiling. Uh, this is a lot of our competitors will do some type of fabric or panel, wood paneling up there. There's no wood for us. As I mentioned, the interior of the sidewalls composite, the interior of the ceiling is aluminum. So it's, uh, it's gonna last uh, a long time. It's reflective, so it makes this look, space look a lot bigger than what it really is. And one great thing about the Airstream Atlas is because we build this portion of the motorhome, unlike the Interstate, which we buy completed from Mercedes-Benz, because we build this portion of the motorhome, we've got ducted air conditioning. Um, this is a really, really quiet, whisper quiet air conditioning system that is gonna pull the air into the rectangular um, vents and then it's gonna push the air out on the circular vents. And what I love about this, number one, these are metal aluminum uh, vents here that you can move around. They're not plastic like a lot of our competitors. And you can put, um, you can direction, you, they're directional. So you can place it wherever you feel you need it. So if you have one partner that gets hot all the time, you can, <laughs> freeze him or her out, and then vice versa. On the other side, you can keep the air off of them. So it's a great, great um, system. And then up in the front too, you, natural light is always great in a motorhome. And there's a big feature behind this wall I wanna talk about, but one of the problems, it doesn't have a window as it sits now. So we have a huge skylight in the, uh, in the living area as well. Really allows for that natural light to come in, but you can also have privacy blinds by easily pulling these across. This might be day to give you a little tint, and then this would be night to really get it dark in here. But in the daytime, you want that natural light. It's a fantastic option. Now, I've shown you a lot up here, but the biggest news is kind of hidden away. Um, this is a Murphy bed. And th behind this wall is a bed that will come down. Really easy to operate. There's a couple removable pads on each side of the sofa that you remove, uh, one here and one on the other side. There's then that power button for the recliner option that lays the, the sofa down flat. And then once that's flat, there are some easy finger pulls here to just pop this mattress right down. Really easy. In the back, there's a little bit of a filler cushion and then that reveals a window that will have a blind on it. There's also storage into that window compartment as well for your cell phones, there's USB charging ports. But how, how smart to have a Murphy bed um, really double up the living area. The Atlas is really only about 24 and a half feet long, so it's not a huge motorhome. But to be able to have this be a flexible space allows us to have a bigger kitchen and bathroom. Okay, so now we're gonna transition from the living area into the kitchen area. What we've done here in the kitchen is we've laid this out in an L shape. Everything has a cover. So the sink has a cover and the cooktop has a cover. So when you're not using either, you can put the cover down and then you can have more workspace. What I also like is this kind of a dead space underneath the countertop back here. So we've actually turned um, put a garbage can there. 
So as you're working and you need to throw things away, it's very easy to access. And then of course, when you don't, when you don't want to have access, you can cover it and use that uh, for additional um, counter space. Um, some really smart storage underneath here. We utilize every single space. Nice cavernous drawers for a smaller unit. And then some nice storage down in the bottom, maybe some pots, pans, or some other utensils. And then when you are cooking, and you can add some additional counter space uh, as this reveals itself. Otherwise, you can tuck it back in. And of course, there's some more storage underneath. And we include silverware tray. So really nice bank of drawers, really nice bank of drawers here helps you store everything you need. And I mean, you want to talk about pound for pound, a really solid kitchen. This utilizes every square inch. Now across from the kitchen is the refrigerator. You'll notice there's a travel lock here. So when you are traveling and if you're hitting bumps, you can keep that closed, but you can push that open and reveal the in interior of the uh, refrigerator. This is an all electric refrigerator. This is similar to the marine industry. Um, this allows you to operate this refrigerator without it being level. Um, the other option is an LP refrigerator, which requires the coach to be level. Because this is all electric, it does not. Also, because this is all electric, it doesn't have a big vent on the outside that uh, is another place for water intrusion and also is pretty unsightly. The LP refrigerators get very hot, so you have to vent them. These you do not. They cool quicker. Uh, they cool um, longer and, and they're just a lot more efficient refrigerator than the, um, uh, and the gas absorption kind of typical RV styled refrigerator. So we really like that. It's a little bit more money, but we think it's a great, it's a great upgrade from, um, your typical refrigerator. And then above the refrigerator is a, um, a convection microwave. So this will brown your, your biscuits. As my mom would say, she likes her biscuits brown. We're a bit country from West Virginia, but this does that. It acts just like an oven, or if you just need it for a microwave, it can warm things up as a typical microwave would do. And then pantry space. In addition to all of this, we've included some great pantry space to the, left, to the, right, of, to the right of the refrigerator. You got some more storage up top and you've got the pantry below. Okay, so as we move into the bathroom, there is a door here that will give you privacy. And there's a magnet on this door. So when you are back here and need privacy, that'll connect. But because we have utilized this space for both sleeping and seating, it's opened up the entire rear for a bathroom. Now, look at this big shower. For a big guy like me, six foot three, uh, very comfortable. You have a travel lock um, for these glass doors when you're traveling down the road. It's got a wonderful teak insert as an added design detail. And, um, and it's even got some backlighting, so you don't have that overhead light. Um, it actually lights a lot better because you're kind of getting it from both sides. It's a fantastic shower. Uh, toilet is over in this corner with an overhead cabinet. But what I love about this space is the amount of storage. There's a tremendous amount of storage here. Just see it by the size of the door. You have hanging space, you have adjustable shelves, you have a couple big drawers underneath. Now I mentioned to you on the outside, there was an exterior door in the sidewall to access some really tough to get to storage. That's where that goes is underneath here. But uh, tons of storage for your clothes, shoes, and everything you need when you travel. Uh, the nice thing too is we also include another panel back here. So if you're looking at your tanks and if they're full or not, um, if you need to start the air conditioner or water pump, it's all accessible right here in the bathroom. You don't have to go all the way up to the front to do that. Now, this is the water heater. So you can set the temperature for your water heater um, if it's a little bit too hot or if it's not hot enough, um, it's accessible right there. Uh, got the medicine cabinet for your sink area and um, conveniently located and very easy to use. And actually got a little counter space on top of that. 
and some storage underneath as well um, for some additional things, maybe toilet paper, toilet paper or cleaning supplies or whatever else you would need back in the bathroom. We utilize every inch back here. So there has been a lot on this Atlas. The inside of this coach is just so smartly laid out. Our designers spent years designing this and improving upon it. And I think it's, you'll, you'll agree with me, it is extremely comfortable for a smaller um, cutaway style chassis that's 24 and a half feet long. Uh, the interior that you're looking is called Modern Grage. Um, but there are five interior colors that you can choose from, one of them being the Tommy Bahama collaboration that we have going on, which is uh, a lot of fun. You can see all of those decors on our website at airstream.com. Um, and or the best way is to call a dealer and when they get one of these in stock, make sure you stop by, check it out, test drive it, put the slide out out, walk around it. I've missed so many features that the sales folks, sales professionals at the dealers can cover with you. but. I really appreciate you spending some time with us and would love to earn your business. Uh, please make sure you check us out at your local dealer or at airstream.com to learn more. And uh, thank you very much.